preparations are now underway for the seventh annual red carpet event. All Baltimore artists and DJs are eligible. Visit www.baltimoremusicawards.com to enter your choices before October 9th. The three nominees with the most nominations will move on to the next round. Finalists in every category will be announced Wednesday, October the 11th, live on the Diamond K Morning Show and BaltimoreMusicAwards.com. Yay, yay. Get your vote in. Get your vote in. And we're back on Baltimore Flavor Radio. Mr. Antoine, Nina, the original party girl. Shout out to my boy, Jay McGraw, who was honest and said, yo, I need to spend some time with my wife tonight. I said, boy, go ahead with your bad self. I'm going to use that next name. week. I need to spend some time mm-hmm. with that's Jay not, White not, so I can nah, get that's off. That's just, uh, Ellen, stop playing. <laughs> Ellen, stop, that's not your stop, name, stop, son. Stop playing, Ellen. That's, 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 that's on the download. Name. That's just between me and you. When I hit you up on Facebook and be like, Miss G, then you can do that. Otherwise, <laughs> that's, I can, that's I can what say did sc- we miss? Ellen has a new... Ellen has a new name. You gave it to yourself. <laughs> I ain't do that to you. You did it to I'm yourself. You did. You brought it on yourself. See, Jakia, this is the last time y'all came back. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, man, but shout out to my boy, Jay McGraw, who had an awesome, just, just to mention real quick, an awesome uh, website launch event did he? Uh, on Sunday. And it was actually uh, for the Mogul Club. Um, I was getting there. Stop, stop, stop. You're always jumping in. Co-host. And yes, the Princess Mogul Club. Um, also, his daughter also launched her line. And she had the nice. little models walking. It was so cute. Oh, uh, and then the caution models that actually awesome. have their own. Yeah, they actually have their own look like little clothing. Well, I'm going to call it a bathing it suit line. Okay. That's what the. Okay. Yeah, that's what that was. Like, this ain't no kids. Yeah, that, <laughs> <laughs> this is not for the children. Yeah, so, this is not yeah, for the but children. It, it, was a, it was an awesome event, so shout out to him for that. Um, Baltimore Ceasefire. We know Baltimore that the event ceasefire. is quickly coming. It's not an event. It's a movement. The movement. The, the experience. Goal. It's a the lifestyle experience. change. The experience. Oh, I like that. Lifestyle, lifestyle change. change. Yeah. The experience of a lifestyle change. Yeah. Is yeah. quickly upon us. Um, and I guess my question now is, what what's next? What's what next? do we do starting August the seventh? August the seventh, ceasefire three sixty five commences. Wow. Um. So, in not in response to, but a response to um the question. So, what happens on after the ceasefire is over? Um. What we would like to do, um, as I mentioned earlier in the interview, is to, um stay connected to the community and to uh, power up a lot of the organizations that are already in the community doing work um, and uh, find out how we can find synergy across organizations and with people in the community who have resources and to find out what people need. Have genuine conversations with people to find out what they need and to plug them into um, viable resources to get them what they need, be that mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, whatever those things are. Um, The ceasefire itself has, I think, reinvigorated Mm -hmm. a lot of what people are doing already. So like a lot of the activities that are happening in a lot of the big churches and a lot of the small churches. it's reminding people that we are responsible for ourselves and that unfortunately because life works the way that it does that we literally cannot pause on what it is that we're doing because we see what happens these close to 200 murders is what happens when we pause on mm-hmm. loving on and lifting up our community Absolutely. Just to just to kind of touch on like the follow up to me is probably more important than the initial experience because you you build up all of this hype mm-hmm. and you get all of this air in the balloon mm-hmm. and then once it's over, like the air starts coming out. Right. It's not over. That's part you of have the, to eliminate the word right. over. It's not right. over. Right. And that's that's part of the reason. And this is something totally different. Why um, we're doing this bro cool retreat for the young men that we're doing because we had an event back in June that was awesome. And a lot of times when you when you get young men together and you have a positive experience with mm-hmm. them, like literally as soon as that event is over, you don't see those young men. You right. don't hear from them anymore. So right. what turned out to be in my thought process, just another one day event is turning into a three day event now. But my point is that the follow up to stuff is like really what's the most important because 
people are going to be, you know, really gung ho about stuff mm-hmm. until Monday morning. And then it's going to be like, what's next? So I, I love the fact that you guys are doing something. Um, and you guys have a calendar available for anyone who wants to see what's going on that weekend. Yes, we do. If you go to the um, Baltimore ceasefire Facebook page, then there is a Google calendar that, that lists everything that's going on. And there are a lot of events. Also, like if you have not <laughs> sent in your event and you plan on doing something August 4th through 6th, then email the Baltimore Ceasefire or inbox the Baltimore Ceasefire so that we can get your event added to the calendar. Okay, that's what's up. Um, final thoughts? Um, I should ask you a question like you used to ask us a question that's just totally out of the, or I should let you ask Nina, because I'm not. Oh yeah, Nina hasn't had. Nina hasn't had the experience yet. <laughs> she hasn't had the experience yet. I used to love that part. Um, I actually. So I have a question for Jakia, um, because so I've known Jakia for. <coughs> has it been? I think it's been like seven years, maybe more than about seven years. <laughs> and um, um, Jakia is somebody who I have admired, like I, I don't know that she's ever heard me say this out loud. She's somebody who I admires, um, admired and um, I've always looked at her as this like quiet storm. Um, and so when I found out that she was part of the ceasefire organizing team, um, I was really excited about it because I know just from watching her how passionate she is about community. And even though like she doesn't, She's not rah rah. She's not loud. She's not um, in your face about she things. She doesn't want to be on camera. She doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> but like I, wa- I watch her move when we're in the community, um, handing out flyers. I watch how um, genuine and and just real her concern is for the people of Baltimore. And so my question to you, Jakia, is. Um, in a perfect world, what would Baltimore look like to you? Unity. Unity is my word. Um, if we could, eat, realistically, there will always be some kind of, I, I don't know, um, beef? I'm not, for lack of a Conflict. Word. Conflict. 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 Mm-hmm. Some kind of conflict. So um, just to be able to talk through that. That's what we lack, and just to be able to talk to other people about, like you said, what we need and what's bothering us. If we could get that out, I think that that's, that would be a perfect world, to be able to communicate better. Nina? It would look like it looks now with the strength of its people, with the minus the conflict, uh, minus the violence, I should say, because yeah, conflict any, is inevitable. it's everywhere. Right. Yeah. But I like the strength. I like the look. I like the feel of our city. That one yes. little piece I just yes. want yes. Yes. to yes. diminish. Yes. You know, it doesn't have to be what it is as far as murder rates and violence. Yeah. But yeah, I love our city and we're, we're waking up. We got mm-hmm. a lot of people that are waking up. Yeah. We got a lot of people that know our roots, the strength that lie yeah. in our roots. Yeah. So if we can get that out the way, then we can unify and concentrate on other issues, statewide, federal, national, to get our people the resources that they deserve. Yeah. Because all of this violence is a symptom of the root. Yep. And until we deal with the root, we're going to have yep. issues. So I wish that we were in a place in the world, in the universe, that someone above cared about us enough to truly give us what we need to attack our issues. Yeah. I was down at Artscape on Saturday and I was walking up Charles Street where they had the stage with um, the back of the stage that faced North Avenue right mm-hmm. there. And um, there was a DJ just, you know, doing his thing. And in front of that that stage, there was a mix of black, white, young, old. Diverse. That's that Very word. diverse yeah. crowd. And yeah. when I tell you, and it was raining at this point, and they just had this circle going, and everybody was just going in the middle of the circle. Yeah. And doing their little dances. Yeah. And coming out. Yeah. Um, and I started. I had that thought and I thought about it as soon as you asked that question. That's the Baltimore right. that I kind of remember when we all right. just got along. Right. And it was just peaceful. Right. You know what I mean? We just celebrated life. Celebrated life. That's exactly life. what they were doing. Like they didn't care who was watching. You had right. yeah, some white guys getting in there had absolutely <laughs> no rhythm. But they were going in and doing their thing and the black people were cheering for them. Like, yeah. yo, get your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was raining at this point and they were just 
having a good time. That's that's kind of like the Baltimore that I remember growing up in the seventies right. and in the eighties, and that's that's kind of like what I would like to see. I'm a little that's older, a, a so little when older. I was growing up, we had a cold. Ooh, shade. Just a little, because you're reaching up to 50, <laughs> like you say every week. We had a code. You know, people that were in the game affected people that were in the game. So violence was contained. Right. People's children and their mothers weren't victims of two people that had a beef. Right. People had eyeglasses so they could see how to shoot their victim. Right. People <laughs> were not whacked out their mind on. It's always been a drug issue, but our drugs are different. Okay. Our environment is different. Yep. What What's released intentionally in our environment is different. What we're eating is different. Yep. So we have all yes. these things that take people that were not necessarily a criminal, but now people are irritable. They're agitated. Don't forget about They're the edgy. lead. Don't yeah, right. forget That's about the lead. Right. And you're knocking down all That's the asbestos. buildings. Don't forget about lead. Let it out into. So That's a asbestos. lot of things are, 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 they're not cut and clean. Like we're saying, there's different ways to get to the root of the issue. And I want us to feel, I'm coming off my mother's them generation. They kind of gave us some black power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are kings and queens. You are royalty. You don't ha I was raised that I can do anything I wanted to. Right. I can be anything I wanted to. So when I saw the project, it wasn't too big in my head. Right. Cause I'm like, if that's what you want to go get, exactly. let's go get, it. you know, exactly. I don't think no first, no matter how big it is. And it's a purpose for everything. Yeah. We're going listen, through this for a reason. Listen to more. <laughs> Listen to more Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's that's the solution to everything. <laughs> All right, let everybody know once again how they can find you guys. Uh, um, so um, we all over. So um, again, tomorrow, Thursday, the twenty seventh at seven p.m. at Community Mediation, we're having um, our might be last public meeting. Before the ceasefire, it looks it's looking like the last yeah. public meeting before the ceasefire. Thirty three, thirty three Greenmount Avenue. You can come and you can pick up flyers. Um, you can get T-shirts while they last. Um, you can get information, get clarification, find out, um, tell us what it is that you planning you're, you're planning on doing, and um, connect with us on social media. Baltimore ceasefire on Facebook. Um, Baltimore ceasefire on Instagram. And what's the email address, Jakia? Is it be more ceasefire? Yeah, be more ceasefire at gmail.com. Um, and get on our mailing list so that you can get information about ceasefire 365. We will be having um, an interest meeting August the 7th. I believe it's at 6 o'clock p.m. and it's at 3333 Grand Mile Avenue. The epicenter of everything Baltimore ceasefire. Yes. <laughs> on behalf of Baltimore Flavor Radio, OPG Radio, Fleet Radio, and Diamond K, we want to thank you and your organization for picking up this very hefty task. I know that you are not responsible for it as individuals, but collectively, along with our city, who you making us be responsible. Um, we just thank you. It's a hard job. I wouldn't have. That takes balls. Y'all did it. Oh, so I got big balls. Yeah, big, big, big balls. She got big, 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 yeah. big, 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 big. She got big balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's a lot. I'm glad y'all picked up the torch. Thank, thank you. you. And I love y'all. We, we love you. Love you. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. Love you guys. Um, yes. Beyond Baltimore ceasefire and everything else, I just we go back to state office building. Go back to state office building. What? Hey, Randy. Five hey, dollars for a ham sandwich. Come on now. And the ham wasn't even real. Oh, oh, oh. wow. wow. <laughs> it really ain't real right now. That's a whole nother show. That's right? what's up. That's my girl, LNG, my girl, Jakia, Jason. Love y'all. Thank y'all for coming Thank and hanging out with us. We're going to turn this back over to my man, DJ Joe Storm, and then we'll be back with Shy Lady Heron in the building. This is Baltimore Radio, Radio on Fire.